Why am I just already hungry again? Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup haul. Well, I guess it's just like inexpensive beauty products that I've picked up lately, but I've picked up some really good ones. I've been trying them out, so I thought I would share them with you. But anyways, with that said, let's just get into the video. And there's like this really weird glare behind me. It's really annoying me, so... Sorry if that's annoying. The first thing that I picked up was some eyeshadows from the brand Coastal Scents. And I've talked about this brand before and it's pretty well known on YouTube. But basically it's a really inexpensive makeup website that you can order from. I'm pretty sure there's like some hits and misses but their eyeshadow pots are supposed to be a huge hit. So they had their half off sale going on so each pot was only 99 cents. So I bought 16 shadows and then 2 containers for them to go in or palettes. So here are the first... 12 and I am just actually obsessed with these I've already used them I'm wearing them today and they have just the most unique colors and also great pigmentation and they're so soft and smooth and this whole thing realistically cost me like three bucks for the palette and a uh, dollar for all the eyeshadows or less so like fifteen dollars and I'm just actually obsessed so if they have that sale going on definitely check them out they're way worth the money and ordering so I also got these four and this little pot but yeah let me know if you guys want a makeup tutorial if you guys own these and then moving on to things that I picked up from Target I just picked up a new foundation because I did go on vacation and so I had to get a darker foundation so I got the fit me which is one of my favorites but I got the matte version instead of the dewy this time if you've been watching my channel you know that I used to be a really big fan of the dewy foundation but I've been getting a little bit shiny and just for summer I wanted something more for oil control so I did pick up the matte version I have been really liking it and then I also picked up the new Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. And so far I have been really liking this mascara as well. Kind of reminds me actually of like the benefit they're real. The only thing is, is that sometimes like on my 12 hour travel days, I notice a little bit of smudging around my eyes. But just for day to day wear, I have been really enjoying this mascara. Next I picked up a Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne and this blush is like gorgeous. I've heard people talk about these before and I've never understood the hype until I got this. I'm wearing it today. It's just like it's so pretty. It has the best like sheen to it and it's three bucks so you really can't go wrong. Next I got the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm and if you haven't heard a lot of people on YouTube have been talking about using this under your makeup as a primer and so I wanted to check it out. I've been really liking it so far. It makes your face kind of feel a little bit like tacky before you put your makeup on but in a good way and it makes my makeup stay on really well and it smells really Really good it smells like just like men or no it's, it's really nice then finally at Target I kind of just wanted to mention this it's kind of random but these little like squeezy tubes I had to get travel containers and so I picked up these ones because they looked like the most sturdy and I ended up just transferring like my lotion that comes in a pot that I usually have to like dig my fingers into into the squeezy tube because it's so much easier and it's just really nice plus it has like a flat surface so all the products always like available like ready to squeeze I don't know if that makes sense but yeah I just recommend getting them even if you're not traveling and then finally moving on to hair care so if you didn't notice I did go a bit lighter in my hair mostly it's just at the ends but at the ends it's like bleach blonde and I actually did this myself with the help of one of my friends kind of did our own like balayage on my hair and I'm pretty obsessed with it I think it came out like way better than I expected. If you guys want more information, I could do a video on it. Just leave that in the comments below. But I did get some hair products just to go along with bleaching your hair because it can be pretty damaging. So I headed over to Sally's Beauty Supply and I picked up some new stuff. So they have like the generic brand there and they're basically dupes for all of the high-end hair care. So I definitely recommend checking them out because each bottle is around six or seven dollars as opposed to like twenty or thirty dollars. So the main reason that I went there and the first thing I picked up was the generic conditioning shampoo and it's supposed to be like the dupe for the Clairol Shimmer Lights original conditioning shampoo and it's basically just a purple shampoo so my hair doesn't go 
little brassy because I really wanted to keep it this nice like ash toned. Anyways, it looks like this. It has like the purple and then you just use these like once a week to make sure your hair stays nice and like cool toned. And then I also got the just like a new conditioner that's a little bit nicer than the one I have now. So this one is comparable to the Biolage um, color care conditioner and I love this. It smells exactly like the Biolage. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right but it smells just like that one so I've been really liking that. And then finally I got the Paul Mitchell Cream generic brand uh, leave-in conditioner. So for this you just put a small amount in after you shower after you've shampooed when your hair is wet and you leave it in and you can style it with it in. I actually have not tried this out yet but I am excited to smells really good. That pretty much wraps up my entire drugstore beauty haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of these products that I picked up recently and hearing some of my opinions. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you did. Comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.